In this video, we're going to be learning about the trend law. Okay, we're going to be learning about the trend law. And um, remember this module is where we learn about technical analysis. That's how we start to analyze our charts in order to make informed trading decisions. Now, we have two types of trend. We have the uptrend and we have the downtrend. Now, what's the trend law in the first place? The trend law postulates that um, a market which is in a trend or which is in, a, in an uptrend uh, makes higher highs and higher lows. Okay? Makes higher highs and higher lows. So this is an example of what an uptrend looks like. This is, this is an example of what a downtrend looks like. Now, for an uptrend, we, we have our, our charts coming like this and then they make a high position in a place like this and then the market then goes down now this going down is called a retracement okay this is an impulse leg okay this is an impulse leg this is called an impulse leg and then this is called a retracement and then this is another impulse leg and then these are called a retracement now this are this is a third impulse leg and then there will probably be a retracement so this is how the market works this is how this is a typical way of how the market works it might not be this clean and perfect but it can be broken down to something like this okay it can be broken down to this so this is an example of an uptrend so for an uptrend we have the low and then we have the high then we have a low we have a high then we have a low we have the high and then we have a low now the previous high must be higher than the last high Okay, sorry, the next high or the new high must be higher than the previous high, just like how we have this. So in order for you to qualify as an uptrend, the, this high here has to be higher than this high here. Okay, and this high here has to be higher than this high here. And this high, this low here has to be higher than this low here and then this low here has to be higher than this low here. so that's when it qualifies <coughs> as an uptrend so i'm trying to open this um so i can just draw out something for you to understand more so this is an uptrend now what happens if we have the market going like this then going like this and 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 then Instead of it to then go like this and continue, it then breaks down like this. Okay, now this low is now lower than this low. Now this is what we call a break in structure. Okay, this is now a break in structure. When we have this, we know that our trend and has failed. Okay, our trend has failed. Because if our trend did not fail, it's going to continue on the upward movement and so also for the downward movement we have this 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 and what happens if instead of having this and continue we then have something like this now this is a breaking structure remember that this is our last structure this is our last um, low instead of it to continue here it broke and went down here now we have a breaking structure it means our 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 downtrend has failed okay it means our downtrend has failed in this case it means our uptrend has failed so <clears throat> that's what you have to understand about uptrend and downtrend now we also have another market uh, session this could be referred to as sessions in the market or kind of um or faces in the market we also have another face in the market which is called the retracement phase okay that's not a type of trend okay but it's what we call a retracement or ranging market. Now, for a retracement or ranging market, we usually have the market ranging above or ranging within a range. Okay, we have it going down, going up, probably within a range. So it's not going up, it's not going down, it's just playing around within this range. Now, within this level and this level, you just have the market going up and down within this level. So that's what happens usually in a ranging market. But in an uptrend, we have this and in a downtrend we have this okay so for example in an uptrend <coughs> if we have observed and ascertained that the market is in an uptrend at these lower points are opportunities for us to enter the trend okay so we can enter here so we can place a buy trade here and then try to get out at this point and then wait for it to retreat okay and then get out at this point we haven't spoken about um 
uh, support and resistance levels. But when we speak about, but when we talk about them, we you get to learn that the market tends to retreat to previous supports and resistance levels. Okay, so that's this for the uptrend. And we, now we are also going to look at you know, examples of this in real life chat. But just come here and see uh, the next slide, for example. <coughs> so now in this next slide we have an example of how a trend might play out in real life. Okay, so this is how a trend might play out in real life. We have the low here, then we have the high, and we have the lower high, okay, which is higher than this low. Then we have the higher high, which is higher than this high. Then we have a lower high, which is higher than the two last lows. And we have a higher high, which is higher than the two last highs. And then we have a lower high again here. So this is an example of a trend. So imagine you enter the market at this point, you'll be making this profit. If you enter at this point, you'll be making this profit. Okay. So that's um, what the trend is all about. So one thing you have to understand is never go against the trend. Never go against the trend. That's a basic, that's the most basic rule I can give to you. Never go against the trend. Once you can identify the trend, 50% um, of the job has been done. So you have to identify the trend and then understand what phase the market is at. Is it, is it trying to uh, retrace? Is it trying to, what exactly is the market trying to do? Okay, so first of all, you have to understand the, the trend and then do not go against the trend. There are people who do counter trend trading, which is trading against the trend, but that's very dangerous. And that's very, um, that's very not successful in most cases. Okay, the trend is just like a moving train. Okay, the trend is just like a moving train. So imagine, um, companies like uh, the City Bank, the big boys in the Forex that trade very big lot sizes. So these are the people that determine the trend. So imagine them buying with their huge lot sizes and, and huge accounts and you with a $10,000 account or a $100,000 account, for example, or $1,000 account. Some people trade with as low as $200. So imagine you with that type of account, that type of small account and trying to go against them. Because they are the controllers of the trend, they determine where the market goes. Because Forex is all about volume, it's all about what you have to bring to the table. They have a lot of money to bring to the table and then they determine the major moves. So imagine going against them, that's kind of a suicide mission, okay? So you don't want to go against the trend, you have to understand the trend and then go in favor of the trend. If you trade like that, I assure you that you'll be making money right before you know it. So that's one thing about the trend okay so um let's just check uh, um, trading view now now this is trading view remember we identified a downtrend movement on the dailies um, in euro usd when looking at um the trading view platform now let's just draw a trend line when we draw a trend line that's draw if you want to draw a trend line you have to draw from one high points okay now your trend lines have to be touching the weeks okay have to be touch, touching the tips the highest points now you have to draw it from this point and then draw it across to the next high point so this is the proper way of drawing your trend line okay you have to make sure it touches the weeks okay the wheels or the shadows so this is the way to draw your trend line. now you can see that <coughs> starting from here for example let's start from here you can see that this is uh this is high and then it now came down and made um okay let me just use this to demonstrate came down and made this move like this let me just use the arrow instead it came down and made this move okay after it made this move it now went up remember i said this is the impulse leg okay this is the impulse leg and, and then this is the corrective uh leg or this is the re retracement okay so it, it went down then retraced and then still went down and then retraced up and then still dragged down and then retraced Okay, and then also dragged down again to this point and now it's in the process of retracing 
So you can also see that the retracements cannot be compared to the actual move. The main money is in the actual move, not even in the retracement. Okay, so the retracement should be helping you to align and to look at where next the market might be going to. <clears throat> so let's color this retracement um, green. Okay, let's color them green. Yeah, so now traders that entered here will, will, will have made this whole money. Okay, traders that entered here will have made this money. Now, you have to know that the market doesn't just move uh, straight. The market doesn't just go down. If the market wants to come to this point, it's not going to just go straight. It's going to retreat. If you look at lower time frames, you keep seeing these patterns. That's the way of the market. Okay, that's the way of the market. The market retreats. Look at them. Lower highs and lower lows. Lower highs and lower lows. And see this. Lower highs, lower lows. Lower highs, lower lows. Lower highs, and lower lows. Now we spoke about breaking structure the other time. <coughs> and let me just look for an example of where structure got broken and the trend changed. Now, um, okay, um, okay, let's see. We um, are following this, and let's see. We have okay, let's see. We have this, okay, let's see. We have this as the impulse leg, and then this as a corrective leg. Okay, remember that the market is a tricky place. Uh, the whole thing might not look very neat at some points or some levels. Might not, might not look very neat. So you might have to strain your eyes. You might have to observe properly to be able to understand what's going on in the market. Okay, now you can see this is a trend. This is a trend. Now, what we then have is, uh, okay, we then have a downtrend, higher, higher lows, higher lows and higher, higher lows, sorry, lower lows and lower highs, <laughs> not higher lows, higher lows is for the option. So we have lower lows and lower highs, right? Now, it made a lower low here. Instead of the market to make it lower high, what did it do? It broke above so let me use my horizontal line to highlight this, the last uh, low, right? It broke above this low to cross and make this high. Now, as you can see, it has broken the structure here. Now it has defied this trend. It has defied this trend. It then tells us that there is trouble and we have to observe, we have to wait and see what the market will do. Okay. so. One thing with most beginner traders or most traders is uh, they don't, they just want to buy or sell whenever they enter the market. I've been guilty of that, uh, <laughs> of this crime for a very long time too. But when I, when I got wisdom, I observed that waiting on the market to make it move is also very important. Okay, so you don't just want to buy and sell every time you enter the market. You have to observe to see what's actually happening. Okay, you know, you're going to actually wound yourself. So you can see that it came and made this lower, lower high. And instead of it to make, okay, it made this lower high and then lower low. And then instead of it to make a lower high, which is lower than this previous high, it broke the structure at this point and made a higher high that defied this trend. Now, this is now a defiance of the uptrend. So after making this now retreat, I even came uh, to make a low that was higher than this particular low, and then started making what we know, what we then call higher, higher highs and higher lows. Now, as you can see, it, this downtrend changed at this point because of the breaking structure. So you can see, and then this, this um, this uptrend wasn't didn't last for too long, and then 
the downtrend continued. So we have to understand that this is an uptrend, but it's basically um, a retracement on a higher time frame. So if we just go to, let's say, weekly, okay, let's say weekly or monthly to see what happened here, we'll observe that this was just a retracement of the major trend, which is a downtrend. Okay, we can see that this is a downtrend, and this uptrend we saw here was just a, a, a major retracement or a minor retracement of the major trend. So, like I said before, the higher time frames carry the bigger picture of the market. The higher time frames carry the bigger picture, so you have to always consider what the higher time frames are saying. Okay, so same thing here on our MT4, when you go on other charts, you probably will observe the same thing. Lower highs and higher lows and whatever. So that just eats for the trend law and that's what our trend looks like. So you should always be looking to trade in the direction of the trend. Trade in the direction of the trend. So that's it for this video. In the next video, we're going to be looking at other concepts like support and resistance levels, and in subsequent videos, we'll look at supply and demand zones and volumes and so on and so forth. And that is for the video. Hope to see you in the next. Bye.